after your relationship with God, there is no more important relationship than the one you share with your spouse. If we could have all of the, the married people here take a piece of paper and write down a number between one and a hundred ranking your happiness quotient. How happy are you? Give yourself a one if it's really bad. A hundred if, I don't know, you were just in Hawaii or something. But just your happiness in life. If you were to do that, and you don't have to do it right now. You already have the tithe cards to fill out later. Um, and the best thing to do with those tithe card is before you put it in, just go and put one more zero on the end of it. And you just put that in. And it's just, um, you, you were to fill out a happiness quotient. And maybe you want to want to talk to your spouse afterward and indicate the number. If you were to just talk about how happy you are in life, my, my hunch is that there would be a very strong correlation to that number and how happy you are in marriage. Now certainly even in a good marriage you go through seasons that are hard or just difficult things or illnesses in your family, but it is almost impossible almost impossible to be happy in life if you are unhappy in marriage. And conversely, if you have a good marriage, you are very, very likely to be fairly happy most of the time. And one of the things we'll see in this series is that the secret to a happy marriage is actually not to focus so much on whether you are happy in marriage, but on whether you are holy in marriage. As is the case in so much of the Christian life, we find ourselves most freed, most joyful, most happy as we begin to look away from ourselves, look to Christ. 